the very fact that we don't lament the absence of ferris wheels on mars that it doesn't hurt us or pain us or weaken us in some way or, or harm us in some way is a realization of the asymmetry in the fact that the absence of the good is not a bad we don't recognize it with the same gravity weight that we give a bad it isn't like a harm the absence of the happy ferris wheel is not like the existence of the cancer they're not equal and that's why there's an asymmetry. Benatar's statement is pretty fucking clear. You're better off never to have been, considering the absence of your condition. And the fact that the absence of your condition will be as meaningless as the absence of the Martians. It will mean nothing as a negative. Absolutely no negative value in the universe. It'll create no brokenness, no harm, no deprivation, no negative whatsoever. No negative whatsoever. No harm whatsoever for you not to exist, for this planet not to exist. That is the fact. That is the asymmetry. The absence of our existence does not produce any kind of negative. It does not produce anything negative except in your delusional mind. Period. Nowhere in the real universe or in the real world can you demonstrate the absence, the loss, the weight, the gravity, the meaning, the substance. You can't articulate it, you can't describe it, you can't define it, because it doesn't exist. We clean up a mess we make, we do not clean up anything else. That is a fact of our existence, and that's why our existence is failed. The purpose of the example is not to say something stupid like, well, the non-existent Martians don't think about it either. We're not non-existent. We can think about it. We can evaluate it. And I'm still going to argue with you. It's an extremely interesting fact that we don't put negative, meaningful weight on the absence of goods. Oh, there's a danger of the slippery is ought slope. Danger of the is ought slope. Danger of the is ought slope. And that's supposed to be a rational way to interact with people. I mean, you know, what, you're gonna, you're gonna call me for crossing the blue line in a football game? Whatever, this has gotten so goddamn to the base, all right, to the root, to the core. The claim being made is the value in the universe, the only recognizable, discernible value, is in the welfare of a sentient being. They create value. There's right and wrong statements, period. You are not instrumental to any need satisfaction or any circumstance in need of fixing in the universe. And that is the asymmetry.